beautiful, thank you for watching. Today's makeup tutorial was nothing I had previously planned. It's just that I got so into the Olympic Games. I felt compelled to come up with something a little patriotic. Now, I'm a very proud born and raised Romanian, but I'm also a very proud American. And my adoptive country, US, this year did so good at the Olympic Games that I just decided to come up with what we ended up ultimately with. I know at first glance, this video is gonna limit me to some of you because not everybody wants to do a US patriotic look. However, I still I wanted to share it because I wanted to show you a couple of different fun tricks that I know will appeal to some of you beauties. One of them is the ease with which you can create stars on your face or your eyelids, wherever. There's this little trick that I want to show you, super duper easy. And also I love the idea of a triple eyeliner because you can essentially color combine whatever colors you want. So it's a fun little idea that I wanted to put out there for you. Uh, give me a quick follow on Instagram and Snapchat because that is where I post a lot more beauty makeup up tutorials, pictures, things like that, practically on a daily basis. And that's it. If you'd like to see how I accomplish this look, then thank you so much for being here and please keep watching. First, I started off with this DIY hydrating mist, which I'll share the recipe for on Instagram very soon. Gave it a moment to dry and then went in with a face primer. All the products are listed below, by the way, because I really don't like toots that don't include a list of stuff. Next, I've been trying this pore putty. It's supposed to have anti-aging benefits, and you may know by now that I'm actively incorporating anti-aging products in my makeup routines. Here's the eye primer. Now, I've been really loving this Kat Von D foundation. I gave it a review on Insta Stories, and I'm using it today because I need all the help I can get to cover the eye bruises and Snapchat family knows what's up. <laughs> now many girls forget about their necks and chest in this process, but not us. After I use the brush, I always go in and dab with the blender around the nose, lips, cheeks where the pores tend to look larger when using foundation, any lines where the foundation can set in, and the eyebrows because I really don't like the way it tends to cake up in there. Weirdo! Another thing that many girls tend to forget about is blending the contour into the hairline. So always keep that in mind. Time to bake and I always apply a little more under the eyes to trap eyeshadow fallout. The stars were inspired by these stickers that teachers use here in school. And here's what I did. First, I found a good placement for it. Because I have slightly folding lids, the best spot where it can be seen was on the brow bone. Tap it down to stick and then I hold it down while applying eyeshadow all the way around. We need that to keep the shape because, you know, if it lifts at the corners and eyeshadow creeps in, we'll have a flower, not a star. So I applied the base, went a little lighter at the inner corners for more dimension. And once you're done with all the eyeshadow action on the top lid, peel off the sticker and start filling it in. You can either use eyeliner or eyeshadow. I personally like the shadow because I didn't want my skin to feel tight in any way. And when you're done with that, it's time for the winged liner. Honestly, I still don't think my eyeliners look perfect, but it's only getting better with practice. Some tips are to start at the corner of the eye and move outwards. Always start with a little product and build up from there, and typically the wing will be the extension of the lower lash line toward the very end tip of your brow. As you add the second and third lines, worry only about creating those lines, not getting colors on top of each other because that can always be corrected. And 
and that's a correction right there and you'll see a lot more correcting once the red was applied I couldn't find a red eyeliner in time so I used a steel and liquid lipstick for this and applying liquid lipstick so close to the fold was a little tricky but like with everything in life we do our best and then we clean up the mess really well and honestly I could have edited this in such a way to where it would have looked perfect or maybe some will say I shouldn't have posted this video to begin with but I wanted to show you that nobody is perfect and even somebody who makes tutorials will make mistakes eyeliner can be tricky but I wanted to leave this in and show you that no matter what happens makeup can always be perfected so I sat there for five extra minutes and went over with the white a few times to correct that bleeding that happened and make sure everything is as even as possible Now I could have ended it there, but when I'm having fun I just can't seem to know when to stop. So I thought, Psh, let's do this again on one side of the face. I applied the lightest silver eyeshadow from the palette as I would a highlighter and then went in with a pearly white shadow to feather out the edges and not have any hard lines. Last minute, I also decided that a third star would be cooler, so I tried my hand at drawing one. Note to self, pre-plan the look. Start out with a white V, then add the bottom line to make it into a Y. And then add one line on each side, like you would a flower, except it would look like a star if the line is wider at the root and slimming down to a point toward the end. On the lips, I applied this gorgeous red from Motives, and because I like dimension to looks, I took the Stila Red that we applied on the lid, which is just slightly darker in color to the naked eye, and applied it as if I would create a nombre look, darker at the edges, feathering out lighter and lighter toward the center. Please give this video a kind thumbs up if you enjoyed it or learned something new or got inspired by something and definitely subscribe if you haven't already. Connect with me on social media. I love you so much for being here and thank you very much for watching. I love you and I'll see you again in a few short days in a new video. Bye!